beaches, beaches everywhere. Welcome to Florida. I'm from the Tampa Bay area, and here we have some of the world's best beaches. Just next door is Bush Gardens, and an hour's drive from here is the happiest place on earth. At least for us kids. Orlando. Welcome to Florida. Come and enjoy. But don't forget your sunglasses. To me, being green means reducing our impact on the earth. We shouldn't use so many artificial products and we should start going natural. I think that we could begin by just turning off the lights when we leave a room and this saves a lot of energy. Well, I would trade places with Ferdinand Magellan because I think he was the first person to circumnavigate the world and he was very confident doing that. And I think it would also be really fun discovering a place that no one else had ever seen before and coming back to tell about it. Hmm, if I could go anywhere in the world, I would definitely go to the Galapagos Islands with Mr. Alex Trebek. I would love to walk in the footsteps of Charles Darwin and, if possible, I would like to be marooned there. Just like Robinson Crusoe. So then I could make some great discoveries. My secret? That would be keeping my eyes and ears open. You can get information from everywhere in the world. And my tip from my teacher is to get 20 new facts every day and look over them a lot. The more you look at them, the more or stronger they become in, their, in your memory. If I were in charge of the earth for a day, the very first problem that I would tackle would be global warming. I would ban all cars and make everyone use the public transportation. By the way, that was just for one day a week. We all know where Britain and Ireland are. Do you know where New Britain and New Ireland are? No, not New Amsterdam. New Britain and New Ireland are in Papua New Guinea.